welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at Iberian Gage. This is a three to five player stock holding route building train game where you take the role of Iberian rail investors. You will be investing in railroads, building track, and collecting dividends trying to become the best Iberian rail investor. How do you become the best Iberian rail investor and win the game? By having the most value at the end of 10 rounds. Now that we know what the winning condition is, let's take a look at the components set up and how gameplay works in Iberian Gage. Now let's take a look at the components. You have the main game board. On the left side of the main game board, you have the initiative track. Next to the initiative track, you have your dividend track. This will let you know how much each railroad will pay out based on the color. The dividend track is referenced on the map with the up arrow. At the top of the board, you have the share value track. The stock value track is referenced on the map with the bar graph. In the center of the main game board, you have your map. There are four types of hexes on this map. The plain or easy hex, dark green or difficult hex, the bluish green urban hex, and then the black city hex. On the right side of the board, you have a chart for the limit, build, and lease for hexes on the map. Below that, you have your round track. And then in the bottom right corner, you have your share value penalty reminder. In each of the five railroads, you have an initiative tile, dividend and share value discs, and trains. In each of the five player colors, you have player tiles and share cubes. Next, we have a round marker, priority deal token. And if you pre-ordered Iberian Gage, you have a printed priority deal token, currency cards, and finally, your rule sheet. Now let's take a look at the setup. We're gonna be setting this up for a three player game, which takes nine steps. Step one, place the main board. Place the main board in the center of the play area. Step two, place initiative tiles. You will randomly place the railroad initiative tiles to the left of the main board. When placing these, keep in mind that all arrows should be pointing down. Step three, place locomotives. You'll place the matching locomotives next to their initiative tiles making sure to leave room for the railroad's treasury in between the initiative tile and the locomotives. Step four, place dividend discs. Place a railroad disc for each railroad below the dividend track. Step five, place share value discs. Place a share value disc for each railroad next to the share value track. Step six, get player components. Choose a color and get the player tile and share cubes of that color. Then you'll place the cubes on your player tile and you'll place that in your player area. Then you will get 40 in currency. Step seven, place the round marker. You'll place the round marker on the top left space of the round track. Step eight, create the bank pool. Sort and stack the currency cards next to the main board. Step nine, choose a start player. You'll randomly determine a start player and give them the priority deal marker. Now let's take a look at the gameplay. A game consists of 10 total rounds. Four of those rounds are stock rounds, where players start or invest in railroads, and six of those rounds are build rounds, where you will build track on the map and gain dividends. Now let's look at each type of round in detail. The stock round. In priority deal order going clockwise, you can either invest in a railroad or pass. Then you will continue going around until all players pass consecutively. When this happens, the first player that passed in the consecutive order will get the priority deal marker and then you will advance the round marker. When you are investing in a railroad, if you are the first to invest in a railroad, then you will start the railroad. Starting a railroad takes four steps. First, place your share cube on the top spot on the initiative tile. Step two, choose the starting share value between 12 and 36, which are the dark spaces on the share value track, to place that railroad disc, and then pay the money of that share value to the railroad treasury. Step three, place a locomotive on an unoccupied major city. If there are no unoccupied major cities, you may place it on an occupied major city. And then step four, you would move the dividend disc to the first space on the dividend track. If you are not the first one to invest in a particular railroad, you would simply pay the share value to the railroad treasury and place a share cube on the highest space available. During the stock round, you cannot purchase shares in the same railroad twice. Then players will continue to either invest in a railroad or pass until all players pass consecutively. When this happens, you would give the priority deal marker to the first player that passed in that consecutive order. Then we would advance the round marker and move to the next round. 
a build round. In a build round, we will go top to bottom on initiative order. You will place one track and pay for the track from the railroad treasury. And then once that railroad is finished building, it would pay dividends. So starting with the top initiative tile going down, each player with a share cube in a railroad can build one track for that railroad. The track cost is on the right side of the board. You may build in any of these hexes, making sure that you do not go over the limit for that hex. And then you can lease track to be able to build in a space not directly connected to your track, but connected through other players' track. When doing that, you would pay the lease cost to that company's treasury. This is helpful when you're trying to connect to major cities or an urban hex. When the railroad is finished building, you will check for the share value penalty. If the railroad didn't make it to a major city or urban hex, the share value drops a number of spaces equal to the number of players with shares in that railroad. So if it didn't make it and there are two players with shares in that railroad, it would drop two spaces on the share value track. then the railroad would pay out dividends. The dividend that they would pay out is marked on the dividend track based on the color for the railroad. This money is paid from the bank to the players with shares and also to the railroad treasury for open shares. Once all the railroads have had a chance to build and pay dividends, if applicable, we would advance the rail marker. Then rounds would continue until the end of the last build round. At the end of the last build round, we would go into the final scoring. During the final scoring, you'll add your cash on hand to your total share value. Once all the players have added up their final score, the player with the most value is the best Iberian Rail investor and wins Iberian Gage.